Hi everybody, welcome to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo and Missy Tuesday. I'm here with Dr. Lisa. My name is Jason, one of the animal care managers, and we make up the giraffe care team here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And we wanted to give you guys some updates on what's going on in our big giraffe herd. So starting off, we did want to acknowledge that today is the one year anniversary since Penny passed away. We know that Penny made many connections with thousands of people and had a special place in our hearts for sure here at the zoo and just want to acknowledge that 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 did happen a year ago and mm -hmm. um, we're continuing to work on her statue and so that will be coming early in 2020 we've made some tweaks to kind of get that perfect essence of penny in that statue form and we'll continue to give you guys updates but look for that statue to be coming in 2020 and thank you again for all of your support that for everybody who followed penny's story along the way we do appreciate that and then we also wanted to of course give you an update on our newest member here at the giraffe newest giraffe member here, here, here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, our new Masitu calf who was born on July 6th. The calf continues to be doing really well. We're seeing her nurse quite often, inside and outside now. She started going out to the big main exhibit with a lot of the herd last week. And now she's actually met all of the herd that goes to the main exhibit as of today. So she finally met the last few couple that make the travel every day out to the main exhibit. So she's getting to introduce herself to all those guys. They're saying hi to her as well. The calf will continue to nurse from the C2 for you know several months, maybe even up to a year. And you guys might actually see on our cams or if you're here in person, Ray trying to seek, sneak a little bit of nurse nursing to Masitu's other calf who's here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo at the moment as well. So you could possibly see that happening, but um, everything's been going great with the calf. We get lots of questions about what is the calf stats. So we haven't actually had a need to, um, you know, get our hands on the calf, so to speak, and actually do real measurements or weights. But we would estimate her that she's well over six feet tall and over 200 pounds. She continues to look quite massive for a calf her age, for sure. And again, we're seeing lots of nursing and all that's going really well. You guys might notice her on the giraffe cam. She does lots of zoomies, especially around the time that we shift them inside at night. She was doing that yesterday. So you guys might see her on the cam, just running around the yard, figuring out when it's her turn to go in or just whether she wants to go in at all, all or not. So she does lots of running around sort of in that shifting time when um, the other herd members are shifting in and out with her. And so look for that on the draft cam. You can see her doing some of those fun things that drafts like to do. You also might catch her laying down. So she spends a lot of her time investigating the other herd members or there's big habitat that she's in right now. She does get tired and like to take naps like many youngsters do. Or myself, sometimes I like to take naps during the day too, depending on how tired I get. But you might see her lay down, which is perfectly normal for a calf to do that. She'll probably try and find a shady spot, maybe away from the herd or not. But that's some of the activities that she's doing out there. And then one other update that we wanted to give you guys is with Riyadh, our 29 year old draft here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo and Dr. Lisa was going to give you a little bit more information about Riyadh. Fantastic. Thank you, Jason. Again, thanks for joining us here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And I'd like to just have you guys take a look at Riyadh. She's one of um, our favorites here. Riyadh is 29 years old, which is very old for a giraffe. You might recognize her as being one of the shorter ones in our herd. She's also one of the lightest ones. And um, 29 is quite old for a giraffe, so as you would expect, we've been dealing with arthritis for her for quite some time. Um, lately, she sometimes wanted to go outside less often, and so um, we've been adjusting her pain meds. She had a few days where she was drinking a huge amount, and so we've been working with her to see if we can get some blood work on her just to kind of reassess what's going on. Um, today, she's happy to be outside. She's eating away. She's walking really pretty well, but again, 29 is, is pretty old, so we're keeping a close eye on things. In my mind, I always think of her as the Italian giraffe, which is, of course, totally made up. But kind of like me, she has relatively short legs, and so she's a little bit like an Italian. Um, but you'll often find her in the side yard um, or inside. There are days when she still chooses to go out in the main yard, and we're definitely medicating her for her arthritis um, as she gets into her golden years here. Um, you can see, though, she's eating quite happily from Jason and uh, having a great day in the sunshine today. So um, we'll just continue to keep her updated if there are any changes with her. Yeah, guys, so we just wanted to keep, like Dr. Lisa said, um, we'll give you guys the information about Riyadh. She is one of the easier ones to tell apart. She's really the whitest giraffe. And like Dr. Lisa said, she's our oldest giraffe right now here at the zoo. And so we are keeping a close eye on her. Um, we will be coming back to you guys next week with Missy Tuesday for our last episode on the one month birthday of our new calf. And there'll be a couple of exciting things happening with that. We'll actually be giving you guys the name of the calf at that point. And then we will be wrapping up Missy Tuesdays as the last episode on that um, one month birthday for our new calf. So 
we would hope that you guys can rejoin us next week to hear all about that and then look forward to seeing you guys for continue to follow our draft herd um, with our draft cams on a day-to-day -day basis so we'll see you guys next week and stay tuned take care everybody bye